guys, today I have a special guest here, Nathan. He's come here from really far away, uh, right next door. <laughs> He's my brother. We're, today we're going to be doing the childhood tag. And so let's get started. Favorite Disney Channel original movie? Mine, I don't really like movies. I, I can't sit through a movie really that much. And so my favorite movie, I, I'm just going to say The Parent Shop, even though it's not an original movie, Disney Channel original movie. But yeah, that's mine. Uh, mine would have to be Clock Stoppers. I absolutely love that movie. Two. Favorite music art. Mine, I'm going to say Three Doors Down, Matchbox 20, and Uncle Cracker. Is it bad that they're still kind of my favorite music artists? Mine is and always will be the Cherry Pop and Daddies. Favorite Nick Jr. show. Mine was Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Blues Clues. <laughs> How could you not like the Blues Clues? Funny, that was like the best show ever. The funny thing about Blues Clues though is that I... Okay, you know how Salt and Pepper, they had a baby named Paprika. Paprika. I used to think that Paprika <laughs> was Salt and Pepper mixed together. Like the seasoning was just Salt and Pepper mixed together. And then I asked Nathan one time when I was younger, I'm all like, is Salt and Pepper just Paprika mixed together? Because, you know, Salt and Pepper had a baby. And he was all like, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> so, that's legitimately what I thought too, though. I was just like, that makes sense. For, for years, my childhood, I thought Paprika <laughs> was just... Number four, what was your favorite candy? Mine would have to be either Big League Chew, like the the grass type gum, or the Band-Aids, the Band-Aid gum that come to, came mm. in the middle. Oh things. yeah, uh, mine was the, the the zebra the zebra gum, where you could take oh, the yeah. the wrappers and then lick them and then and then tattoos tattoos from the 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 wrappers of the gum. I put the tattoos on my toe. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. What was your favorite game as a kid? Mine would have to be Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. I spent hours playing this game. I never beat it. I got stuck on the sea urgen urchin thing where you had to kill the babies with the swordfish. Yeah, mine would have to be Wall Ball from middle school. Oh my goodness, I played that all the time. But if I could go and play that with my friends, I would drop everything and go and play Wall Ball. In PE, we had to be graded on our wall ball ability skills, and then you had to play on certain courts, and I was a level like four, and I wanted to play on the level five and six court, so I just said I was a level five and I wanted to play with them. Question number six, what was your favorite McDonald's toy? It took me a while to think of one, but I had have to say it was the CDs, the Yu-Gi-Oh CDs. I thought it was so cool that they were giving away music. Uh, <laughs> we still listen to it. <laughs> we still listen to it. To today, we have it downloaded on our PS3. We're McDonald's just... giving away free music. Get it now. Yeah. <laughs> you also have those stupid movies too. Oh, the McDonald's movie. Yeah. That was like my favorite movie. Why did we watch that? It was terrible. I watched it all the time in kindergarten. Yeah, with, with like all the Ronald Mc, McDonald, Ronald McDonald, and all of his friends turn into babies. And that guy's like trying to, I don't even remember, but all I know is that his, his nose was very peculiar. My favorite McDonald's toy would be the Inspector Gadget toy collection. You'd have to like get every single one of his body parts, like his arm, his legs, his chest, his head, his hat. Uh, and each of them did a different thing. And then you could put them all together to make, you know, Inspector Gadget. And he was like, like a foot tall. Question number seven. What was your favorite book as a kid? Mine would have to be Sideways Stories from Wayside School series. I did like four, three or four book reports on that thing. Yeah, mine would have to be The Fire Within. Only because that's the only book that I've read actually front to back. Are you wearing makeup? No. Yeah, you are. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, number one, two, three, four, five. Six. I have a sunburn, Carmen. On my sure. face. You just want to look good for the camera. So what? Question number eight. What was your favorite clothing store? Goodwill. 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 Always get used underwear at Goodwill. Number eight. What would you watch when you'd come home from school? It, it's nine. It's number nine. 
Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Question number nine. Uh, what would you watch when you come home from school? We're cheap. We're watching TV. <laughs> PBF, it's cheap. It's free. <laughs> I would watch, first it was like, postcards from Buster, and then it would be like, Cyber Chase, and then Zoom. Zoom was like... Oh, uh, Zoom was... Zoom, 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 uh, Zoom. Everybody knows Zoom. Everybody's watched Zoom. Come if, you, on, if you're a kid Zoom. and you haven't watched Zoom, then you haven't lived your proper childhood. Yeah, I wanted to be a person on Zoom. I wanted to be a person on Zoom. Too bad we couldn't live in Massachusetts. Oh, two, one, three, four. <laughs> to Zoom. Mine would have to be the Red Green Show. The Red, that came on after Zoom. Yeah. So Nathan, have you ever been in the end slate before? I have not been in the end slate before. This is the end slate. This is it's pretty cool, right? Colorful. What? What is that? That is just blue space. See, but right here, <laughs> that is a little yellow subscribe button. You can click to subscribe to me and see all my new videos. So, uh, right here is a little blast button that will send you to the past of my last video that I made. And right here is a mystery video you can click. It will be a mystery video. I'll probably link it to one of Nathan's videos so you can subscribe to him and see one of his videos. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.